Welcome back, and I can tell you that Christian House is still dangling off the front, and the conditions are just as bad as when you saw us last. Well, we're through this uh, tunnel and uh, some of the uh, Europe car riders at the back, but this advantage is very slender, and we see uh, Team Sky on the right-hand side and the left-hand side, the orange jerseys of uh, Rabobank. And Christian House decides to sit up, so this is the catch, and the field are all back together. It's status quo, and they reassemble and start to get themselves organised for the final sprint. Well, the front of the bunch has been led by Bram Tanking of Rabobank, Alec Dowsett, this morning's winner of the time trial sitting in second place and uh, very much the whole of the uh, rubber bank team looking after that goal jersey they just have to get him over that line and of course Lars Boone's a pretty good sprinter as well he's won two stages in this race so far but uh, this kind of finish is not going to be something that he will specialize in when he won in Hanley and Stoke it was an uphill finish and he also won the sprint into Wells but what we must consider here Brian is that no Dutchman has ever won the Tour of Britain before that's going to be put right now because Lars Boom is going to climb onto the top spot on the podium Great Britain well they came in here with high hopes Garen Thomas well there was talk of him trying to win it he has tried but of course we're going to have to content ourselves with second with Steve Cummings well, we are into the final three kilometres here, so if any crashes, anything happens, he's not going to lose that. But he is the complete package. He can sprint, he can time trial, he can handle himself in a bunch. And uh, I don't think he's going to take any risks in these final uh, few kilometres and try and go for the stage. He just wants to get across this line and uh, win this Tour of Britain. Just look how slow they're going around here for the retrace back to the finish. That flags up the caution and underlines how slippy it is under the wheel. But the conditions are brightening up at the moment, uh, but uh, you can see the roads are still very damp and the whole race going round this corner very gingerly, not taking any risks whatsoever. But it's all together and all to play for for the stage win. So we're on the retrace now. This is the return back to that finishing funnel. And look here, you already see the big guns starting to come through. Rabobank, Sky, HTC High Road, so they're all starting to just lift that tempo and the long thin line is forming and the sprinters will be starting to position themselves ready for their lead out. And it's Rick Flens at the front, Douse in second place, Vermelford in third, Lars Back still up there, another one of the Sky Riders. It looks to me as if that's uh, Michael Rogers and then you've got the gold IG Markets leader of this Tour of Britain. Well, there's no sign of Cav near the front at the moment, but he always pops up at the right time. Well, he's very canny at that and uh, just sitting back as we see the Endura racing team coming up towards the front and that looks to me as if that's uh, Alex Wetterall who finished sixth in the time trial this morning. Yep, Wetterall, very good against the clock. If he could open up a gap and settle down to the rhythm, then he would take some pulling back. Look at this, he's burying himself, keeps looking back as he tries to get clear. Well, it's going to be very difficult for him to stay away. You can just see Lars back pegging him back, and he's out in the saddle, sprinting as hard as he can, but uh, this is going to come down to a bunch kick, but a brave effort nonetheless by Wetterill. Pegged at about 20 metres, but you can see that the field are not going to allow him any freedom. Here they come, and they're going to pick him up again, so they'll all be back together. He's just dangling there, but he's not making any headway. Well, it's Lars back, just brings him back. Two of the uh, Sky Riders come to the front and uh, just looking back further down the line, you can just see Ben Swift and the blue jersey of Geraint Ger Thomas. Yeah, they're all back together. Wetterall has been pulled back into the uh, bunch. Dowsett on the front. In fact, the team of Sky, they've got three riders here now. Well, it's uh, Dowsett, Rogers, Matt Heyman and uh, Ben Swift. And then just behind them, as we just said, the blue jersey of Geraint Thomas. I said three, but in actual fact, there are four. Good spot there, Brian. Ben Swift is the man in the uh, fourth position, and he's their big sprinter. Caught another glimpse of the United Healthcare rider of Forster, and he's sitting about fifth place at the moment. He's in the light blue and the black colours, and uh, just looking round there, Bernd Iso, uh, the Aust Austrian uh, rider in HTC High Road, looking round to see where Mark Cavendish is. Forster was third the other day, 
in uh, one of the stages. That German also is powerful. Now, there's another line forming on the right, and that is Pieter Gilibert, the man that's won the Yodel Spring competition, and that means that Anne Post are getting involved in the dust-up. Well, they're looking after the young Scott and Defend and the team of uh, Anne Post, Grant Thornton, and he finished fifth in Exmouth and uh, second to Cavendish in the bunch sprint yesterday. Well, in these kind of conditions, sprinters have to throw caution to the wind as they approach the line and it's all about the courage and bravery as they push and shove and try to get the right position but team sky now on the front really lifting the tempo well it's the aussie matt Heyman pushing hard and just behind him you've got ben swift and the blue jersey of Gerang thomas just look out for the white jersey of htc as you see bernd isel Renshaw and then Cavendish just behind him. Yes, we've seen Cavendish now starting to come through. He's got those dark glasses and he's in that crouching position. He might be small in stature, but he punches well above his weight. With well, a riding very, very hard at the moment, They're coming up to the final kilometre. And this has been led out here by Europe Card. Second place, you've got Bern Iso of HTC pulling it up at the moment. And uh, just behind him, you've got Ben Swift, Geraint Thomas, Roger Hammond in there. Andrew Fenn and all the riders battling to get into this top corner at uh, Big Ben. So little Roger Hammond in there as well, former sprint winner on two occasions in the stages in the Tour. Well, historically, in the finishes here in London, Enrico De Garno won in 04, Paolini in 05, it was Tom Bone and the Belgian world champion in 06, Merlo of Italy in 09, and last year it was Greipel, the German, that won the London stage, although he didn't finish here in the centre. And it's round the second last corner, it's Ben Swift at the front, Robert Frost on the left-hand side, Gerrit Thomas in the blue jersey, but uh, coming through on the right-hand side is Mark Renshaw. All right, look out for Renshaw, Renshaw's got himself in a good position here, but leading the sprint out is Forster. So can the German win the stage here in London? Renshaw is all over him like a rash, trying to get past in the closing stages. Swift had a look across there to see who was going to come up to challenge, and it is, of course, the Manx Express, Mark Cavendish. Here comes Cavendish on the left of the screen. Cavendish takes it, and he gives the victory salute. This man is electric in the closing stages. So he's won the opening stage of this tour and the final stage. What a delivery by Mark Cavendish. This man is unstoppable. He came past the rest with unbelievable acceleration. Now then, let's take another look at it. Well, Cavendish is in fifth place. The rider is circled at the moment. And we're going round the final corner. And from here on in, I'm thinking he's given himself too much to do. And uh, as the gap starts to open in front of him, but once he gets these afterburners going, he starts to pick them off one by one. And uh, still, he goes now. And uh, what an amazing uh, sight from the helicopter we're seeing as he picks up one, picks up the other, and just comes flying past Mark Renshaw to take the stage away from him. He's just an unbelievable finisher, the fastest sprinter on the planet. Well, that wraps up the Tour of Britain for 2011, and it's the Netherlands that provides us with the win.